I walked into his office about three months ago, and it was the day that CNN leaked the uh, infrastructure plan. I, I printed it out. I read it. And I walked into his oval, and I said, Mr. President, uh, the infrastructure plan. He said, yeah, it's great, right? I said, no, no. There, there are two things in the, here that is blaringly missing. Number one, where does it say that 90% of the, the raw materials in a trillion-dollar plan are produced in the United States? He said, well, isn't it in there? I said, no, it's not in there. He said, we got to get it in there. And I said, what about, what about allowing local businesses to make the first bids on, let's say you're going to build a school or a wing on a hospital in St. Louis. Let the St. Louis community come up with a business that builds that wing. No, don't pay more for them. Let them compete with the, with the national brand. And if they do, they get the job. He's going to get so many votes. And she says, you know what? Bowling will get those two things in there. And guess what? Here yeah. we are three months later, those two things are in there. And that's why he's so scared. They, they say, oh, he's rash. No, he gets good ideas. The bureaucracy's gone. He gets it in. He listens to the corporate guys that care about Exactly. I mean, literally, you told him something yep. that made sense. He's like, yeah, that makes great sense. Make sure the materials are from America. Yep. Yep. And, and then what is it like then to talk to him and then see it manifest and amazing. save the country? It's amazing. And, and it's, it's amazing to, to have that, that, that access to the most powerful man in the world. And, and look, so all these people, that, that when they're afraid of him and they're worried he's going he's to get too big and this whole new Trump uh, form of conservatism is growing in Washington, D.C., they all push back. They all start to say he's losing his facilities. He's losing his mind. The man is sharp as a tack. I was about to say, exactly what Trump's he's called me like at 10 o'clock at night. And I'm like tired. He's like smooth, like he's a voice actor that never made a mistake. Mm -hmm. And it's like also, I'm like, I said a five minute conversation and he didn't mumble one time. I'm like, this is a senile person.